Welcome back to Cosmic Weekly on Beyond the Cosmos. This week we're talking about SpaceX's Crew-6 successfully docking with the International Space Station, startling new discovery from the James Webb Space Telescope, we're back to Mars talking about NASA's Curiosity rover again, a new comet which might be visible by the end of next year, and a new study that proposes a brand new way of using moon dust to tackle global warming. SpaceX's Crew-6 successfully docked with the International Space Station after troubleshooting a faulty sensor that caused a brief delay. The docking occurred at 1.40am EST on March 3rd, and the hatches between the two spacecrafts would open around 3.18am EST on the same day. The mission will overlap briefly with Crew-5, which is scheduled to return to Earth in a few days' time. The Crew-6 quartet includes NASA's Woody Hoberg, the United Arab Emirates' Sultan al Nayadi, Russian cosmonaut Andrei Fedeyev, and Commander Stephen Bowen. Their arrival at the ISS was delayed by the faulty sensor which also caused a minor problem shortly after launch. All is well now though. The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, has discovered an overlooked companion galaxy near a well-known early galaxy called SPT-0418. The companion galaxy called SPT-0418-SE is full of star formation and was overshadowed by the foreground galaxy, which bent and magnified the light of the distant galaxy creating an Einstein ring. The close proximity of the two galaxies suggests that they are bound to interact or merge with one another eventually, shedding light on how early galaxies evolved into larger ones. The discovery was surprising because SPT-0418-SE is believed to have hosted multiple generations of stars despite its young age. The galaxy's mature metallicity is similar to the Sun, which inherited most of its metals from previous generations of stars that were 8 billion years old. The findings, published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, suggest that the process of forming stars in these galaxies must have been very efficient, and started very early in the universe, offering new avenues for studying how stars and galaxies formed in the early universe. Did you know Mars has clouds? NASA's Curiosity rover has captured the first ever clear image of crepuscular rays, or sun rays at twilight, illuminating a bank of clouds on Mars. The image was taken as part of the rover's new mission observing clouds over the planet during its twilight hours. The clouds in the image are at a higher altitude than the Martian clouds, suggesting that they may be composed of frozen carbon dioxide, or known on Earth as dry ice. The study of clouds on Mars can provide scientists with valuable information about the planet's weather, atmosphere, and wind patterns. Curiosity's new observation campaign, which began in January 2023 and will run until mid-March, uses both black and white navigation cameras and colour mast cameras to capture detailed images of cloud structures and their colour transitions over time. Be sure to take this time to subscribe to stay up to date with any breaking news coming from Mars. Here's one for all you sky gazers. A newly discovered comet, C2023A3, could be visible to the naked eye by autumn 2024, and may appear as bright as a star in the night sky. It was first spotted by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Atlas, telescope project in South Africa in February 2023, and independently discovered by astronomers at the Purple Mountain Observatory in China in January. The comet is currently between Saturn and Jupiter, and is travelling at about 180,610 miles per hour. The comet is estimated to orbit the Sun only once every 80,660 years, and it will make its closest approach to the Sun in September 2024. However, it may break up as comets are loosely bound balls of ice, rock and dust. If it stays intact, it may become visible in amateur telescopes in June 2024 and may reach a brightness of magnitude 0.7, potentially peaking at a magnitude of minus 5 similar to Venus at its brightest. And finally, a new study proposes using dust particles from the Moon's surface to mitigate climate change by placing them between Earth and the Sun, creating a dust shield that would reduce Earth-bound sunlight by 1.8% in a year, which could slow our planet's rising temperature. The solution would require about 22 billion pounds of dust per year, and hundreds of more launches than ever conducted before. But launching from the Moon would require much less energy than launching from Earth. The researchers say their study only evaluates the potential impact of this approach, and does not address the logistical, legal, and technological challenges of implementing such an effort. This proposed solution is simpler, cheaper, and more effective than previous methods that use expensive and resource-intensive geoengineering projects like gigantic screens and reflective mirrors to cool Earth. However, one of the important unknowns is the impact of repeatedly placing huge amounts of dust at or near L1 orbits, which is home to NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory as well as the Deep Space Climate Observatory. 
That's it for this week's episode of Cosmic Weekly. Be sure to join us next time for more space news. And until then, keep looking up.